How's it going guys? Brando's back. You know what time it is. We are on vlog number 43. Day 49 on the shakes. That's right guys. We're at the end of week 7. Yeah. So, how am I feeling after week 7? Yep. Pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it's been a warm day. It still is a bit of a warm day. Hence why I'm looking a bit, uh, yeah. But it's been a good day in terms of productivity at work, productivity in exercise, and food was all stellar. So let's just jump straight into this. This morning, I did a four kilometer walk. That's right. I did, I did the big loop. It took me 42 minutes and eight seconds. I think that's kind of the best time for that loop and burnt 430 kcal that's enough for the two shakes of the day going into the lunchtime walk it was apparently about one and a half kilometers i still need to do the look up on google maps for that um took me 21 minutes 23 seconds and i burnt 192 kcal on the afternoon walk today i just went two laps of the triangular block uh, which apparently is close to a full kilometer. So you know what? That's pretty decent. Did it in 14 minutes and 31 seconds and burns almost 200k cow. So for the totals today, I managed 16,105 steps, 157 minutes of active time, and 3,276k cow. And it's currently mm, 13 to 10. So I know it's a bit later. I'm sorry, but I just caught up. Uh, I just caught Ash's live stream. Go check him out, that fat guy. Uh, I've plugged him before. You'll be able to find his channel. Um, but yeah, so that's why it's a little bit late. Jumping into food. For this morning, I had a strawberry pudding for breakfast. So that's strawberry shake with two tablespoons of chia seed. Morning snack was popcorn, cashews, and macadamias. You're going to see that every single day. Might change things up when I do shopping tomorrow. For lunch, I had a banana and mango shake. That was pretty damn good. I might have to do it again. Just because it takes the edge off of both. It's not the... I, th I think with the banana, there's kind of an overpowering banana hit, which is great with chocolate, but on its own, still not 100% sure. But the mango also has an overpowering richness to it, so they both kind of cut each other back a little, but build up nicely, so yeah, that worked. For the afternoon snack, I had the chalk peanut butter bar, and for dinner, chicken and veg. So... How's it all been going today? Well, um, today at work, we were fairly productive, got a whole lot either ready to go or done. Um, but in terms of weight loss and such likes and exercise, you know, my personal side of things, um, managed to get out a big loop walk this morning, felt great afterwards. Looked down at my calves after I'd finished and I could actually see proper muscle definition. So that was amazing. Um, and hopped on the scales and looked. I'm just going to give you all a little bit of a spoiler for tomorrow's weigh-in. I cracked the 120 kilo mark today. That's right, I am... I, I hit the 5 kilo mark, the next 5 kilo mark, 15 kilo total. You know what I'm doing for treat meal tomorrow, right? <laughs> Big gyros, chips, and a thick shake. But yeah, I'm stoked. I'm, I'm still enthusiastic about being on the shakes. 
I'm still happy to keep on going for walks and keep losing it. And the drive is still there to stay on the shakes. I'm not feeling like I'm ready to just start experimenting and come off them yet. I think that's what went wrong last time because last time I started getting comfortable around the 115, 110 mark, started trying to do my own breakfast thing and eventually tried doing my own lunch thing, kind of fell off the wagon, kind of had COVID uh, lockdowns hit for the first time and everything derailed. So this time I'm just going to stick with the shakes until I hit 95, potentially even 90. Like that's replacing both meals. Um, and then once I hit that point, I'll start trying to maintain or more importantly, I'll see where my body fat percentage is going and go, okay, do I need to lose more? Do I need to try and build up more muscle? What needs to happen? for my body fat percentage to be in a normal range. Right. And that normal range should be somewhere around 11 to 22%. All right. That's fine by me. I'm happy to do that. You know, if it so happens that I hit 95 and I'm still not somewhere between the 11 and 22%, I will keep going until I'm at a point where my body fat percentage is at a reasonable point. Now, does that mean I'm going to have abs? Potentially. Now, it depends on if I push down further towards the 11%. Um, am I going to start powerlifting? Probably not. I'm not looking at getting into the gym this year, maybe next year. I'll start bulking up a little bit further. Um, I'll see how things go with the man challenge next week and see the exercises there. And if there's any there that I can do for the time being or until the next challenge hits and I can start uh, challenging myself a little bit further. Perfect. Um, just briefly, I want to talk a little bit about the man shake challenge. I'll talk a little bit about it when it happens, but just for now, look, I get their meal plan. It's just that the variety of ingredients that they're asking someone to buy, I can't fully financially support. Like they're asking for a wide range of ingredients that I don't have on hand. And for me to try and get all of them on hand, and try and keep them it's just not going to work for me so i'm still going to stick to changing up my meat every night going back and forwards between chicken and lamb might see if i can get some salmon this week but um i'm still going to stick to my veg the way that i like it still stick to my treat meal of gyros and chips and you know what if i happen to lose a little bit more weight than what I'm expecting or than usual um, great I'm not too fussed but just know that the man challenge comes with its own meal plan and I feel like I won't I'm not going to follow that other than you know the morning shake the lunch shake and the fruit or nuts as a snack but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. That seems like it's going to be a fun time. So that'll be it from me for today. Thank you so much for joining me. You have all been wonderfully supportive. And tomorrow, we'll see what weigh-in brings. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Um, and I'm really looking forward to... Actually, what I am really looking forward to is cracking into that year off and chips. Like, no joke. I have kind of been wanting a nice big hearty meal. 
that is not based purely on veg and a bit of protein. So I reckon, reckon this weekend I might also pick up a dozen eggs just to hard boil and chuck in the fridge. That way I have something a little bit extra to add to my meals. A little bit extra protein and fat. Right, I'm off. Enough rambling. Thank you so much. And you know what? Words of wisdom today. Always have water by your side. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.